President Mamadou Buhari has approved the list of team members to renegotiate the 2009 agreement between the federal government and the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. According to a statement from the Federal Ministry of Education, the federal government team will renegotiate with the staff unions of the federal universities, federal polytechnics and federal colleges of education with a view to engendering sustainable peace and industrial harmony in tertiary institutions. The team member team is chaired by Dr. Wale Babalaking, a senior advocate of Nigeria. In a related development, President Buhari has also approved the reconstitution of the governing councils of the University of Port Harcourt, the Obafemi Awolowo University, Leife, which were dissolved in the recent crisis that engulfed the two institutions. The new governing council will serve for a term of four years in the first instance, effective from December 28, 2016. We continue our assessment of performance in various sectors in 2016. Tonight, the focus is on education. Out of the 6.07 trillion naira budgeted uh, for Nigeria, education has been allocated 369.6 billion naira, a figure most of the practitioners say is grossly inadequate. Despite the funding challenge, the Ministry of Education made serious efforts to ensure that the nation's education sector did not lack funds, although members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities blamed government for the non-funding of the universal basic education and the conflicts in universities and the near anarchy at the Obafemi Awolowo University occasioned by the appointment of a vice-chancellor by the government. Our next report takes a look at education in 2016. The year 2016 began on a bright note for the education sector with a promise by government to provide a conducive environment and that can compete with their counterparts around the world. Education quality assurance in Nigeria represents a very radical shift in thinking from the former practice of school inspection to a monitoring and evaluating process that provides a new operative mode of evaluation. But barely one month after government's pronouncement, the relative peace in the sector was ruptured by the sacking and appointment of 13 new vice chancellors. This did not go down well with the leadership of the National Association of Nigerian Students. We here instead our resolve to peacefully press until the right thing is done with respect to the sacked of the 13 affected vice chancellors of federal universities. The UNESCO monitoring report for 2016 was another sore point as it predicts that going by current trends, Nigeria will only achieve its universal primary education by 2070. The Minister of Education who launched the report, however, restated government's commitment to ensure that the prediction does not come to pass. We must not allow this prediction to come to pass. And as I said, we should rededicate ourselves to achieving this together with the rest of humanity. And if we can do it, we should do it probably even earlier. Reviewing the education sector in 2016, some lecturers claim the federal government is not living up to expectations. The current government's allocation to education was abysmally very, very low. In most cases, corruption has eaten into the um, education system in the past so much that most of the money that is even budgeted, are we sure that those money, the 26 percent, will be used for the purpose of it is this meant? Some members of the Nigerian Union of Teachers applaud the relative peace in the sector, but call for improved budgetary allocation. It is annoying to discover today that um, allocation from uh, the budget is not showing any light at the end of the tunnel. No government is perfect, I would say. But then there are room for um, development. I believe they can still build more. In the course of the year, academic and non-academic staff members of Obafemi Awolowo University disrupted academic activities over its outgoing vice chancellor, Professor Bamitale Omole. He bowed out after five years of service. 
Students of the Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, he also took to the streets to protest the strike action embarked upon by the staff of the institution, got more than they bargained for as the police dispersed them with tear gas. The relative peace, however, enjoyed in the sector in 2016, the licensing of eight private universities and the launch of an education quality assurance handbook were some of the high points of the year. But experts believe that improved budgetary allocation, if implemented, will enhance the quality of education in Nigeria. Let's take a further look now at the challenges in the education ministry. I'm being joined on the news at 10 by an education consultant, Mr. Yomi Fawemi. Thank you for joining us on the news at 10. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening and happy new year. Oh, we should have said thanks. <laughs> Let's get your assessment of education in 2016. Okay, I mean, so if we look at the, the way the constitution and the laws define roles in education, so there's the role of the federal government, the state, and the local government. Uh, where we seem to have the greatest effort and result was in the state level. The subnational governments were more effective. So you have states like Kaduna State coming up with a new law that made it become compulsory for people to go to school. You have mm -hmm. states like Shokuto State also coming up with new laws and declaring a state of emergency in education. There were quite a lot of results in that sector. Uh, if you see the education plan of uh, Kaduna State, for example, it's, it's something that makes you happy. Uh, you see a state like Oyo State also coming up with a new policy in education to drive private sector input into it. So there were quite a lot of activities at the state level. Interestingly, uh, it seems the local government seems not to have been able to get its act together for very obvious reasons, uh, because of the fact that we really don't have a local government system. It has all been taken over by the state government. Now, at the federal level, that's where we seem to have more of the confusion and the crisis. So you have a situation where, for example, at early part of the year in the first quarter, the president decided for whatever reason to sack some vice chancellors. Mm -hmm. And of course, he came later to tell us he made a mistake and he apologized. Unfortunately, those vice chancellors at October or September this year still do not have Last a letter year, of reinstatement or sack. Mm -hmm. So uh, there was a lot of confusion. You saw the issues with jam, cut off mark, no cut off mark. Now, for me, uh, I think the worst thing that happened in education this year was that for the second year running, the World Economic Forum ranked Nigerians' primary education system the worst in the world. We wow. were the worst last year. And I felt everybody was going to rise up to talk about why we should be the worst. I'm not saying the worst in Africa, the worst in the world. And for a second year, we became the worst. No, we maintained the worst performance. And for me, that was the worst thing that happened in education. It, 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 it's, it's bad. Why, why, why do you think that is? Why, why do you think that happened? Why it happened? Because we don't care about education in Nigeria, both the private sector and the public sector. I mean, so we were ranked the worst last year. What happened? It wasn't even a news item. So if you don't care, it doesn't happen. We don't measure it. I mean, so you see, you, you see how it seems to have receded in the quality of education we have. Unfortunately, we're missing it at the primary school level. Once you miss it at the primary school level, you're wasting your time on other levels. And that's the levels you are put in the hands of the local government system and the state government who has a constitutional role. But because there is no local government system, nothing is happening. Can you attribute any of these challenges to funding, perhaps? One problem we have in Nigeria, every problem is money. It's not correct. There was a state, uh, I think it was Kebe State or Shokoto State, where they saw students sitting on the floor in a classroom. And the commissioner asked, why are they on the floor? And the air teacher could not respond. The chairs for those students were in a block down the road, in the same school compound. Somebody did a study and said for every $11 sent to the Nigeria educational system, only one gets to the school system eventually. The other goes into inefficiency and corruption. Now, we need more money, no doubt about that. But we also need things beyond money. We need leadership. We need guidance. We need structure. We need a policy. The last education policy in Nigeria was published in 2004. 2004, there was no Facebook. There was no Uber. So that policy cannot produce a rival to those products. Mm. You're using a policy that 2004 is how many years back now? That's 13 years ago. Those organizations I'm talking about did not exist. So that means that that policy will never produce a Facebook. Now, so that's, that's, that's part of what we need at this time. Let's look forward now. You stated the challenges and everything else um, moving forward in 2017 so we don't maintain that position that we were at last year. How do we raise ourselves up from this and you know, have a more healthy education ministry? I think the first question we need to ask ourselves is what is forward? I think there's no clarity as regards what is forward. There's a sense in which some people, I mean, so for example, we launched a new policy around educational standards and quality assessment. That is not forward. 
What is forward to you? Forward is us defining education. The greatest error we make in Nigeria about education is that we confuse education with schooling. So check the budget of the Federal Ministry of Education. It's schools, 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 schools. Schools is a way and a means to achieve education. It's actually one of the ways. So we need to redefine education in an holistic manner that helps people to understand what you do. First thing we need to do. I think the second thing we also need to do is to start to have some sense of direction of what we want. So the direction should come from the quality of the leadership in terms of the ministers or the commissioner for education, and then a leadership guided by policies telling us this is what we want to do. When, when a child goes to school in France, he will leave school as a French citizen. When a child goes to school in Nigeria, what does it become? You know in Lagos, there are schools that run British curriculum, an American curriculum, and French curriculum. I suspect some are even running some ridiculous curriculum, mm. and they are all in Lagos. We need a sense of direction. And then that is when you should now put your money after all of those things. Education consultant Yomi Fawemi, it's been a pleasure having you with us on the News at 10 tonight. Thank you very much. When the news of 10 returns, Nigeria's stock market records first gain in the first trading week of 2017. We'll have more on business news. Please join us again.